Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Tina. I hope you guys are all doing well. It's been a minute since I've done videos. I've been so sick, you guys. Um, even though I'm vaccinated, this COVID hit me bad. I've been in bed for two weeks. Just now I'm getting some of my energy back. So um, I managed to put some projects together. This is for Panalisa Craft. I will have a link ev to everything down in the description box below. And also, if you haven't seen my unpacking video, I will link that down below as well. For my first card, I use this pocket die, and this is a great size. Now, you can use this for journals, for albums. Comes with three compartments here with the layering pieces. Comes with tickets, tags, uh, little banners. And again, if you want to see a sample, just check my unpacking video. But I wanted to make it into a baby dresser. I have a new, we have a new baby in the family, so I wanted to make a card. So I just uh, cut up a little pieces of paper and I stuck them underneath to make them into the legs of the dresser. Here I got these from my stash, these little baby clothes, and I took a white um, paper clip and I just bent it to make it look like a hanger. And I, I die cut it the word congratulations and I just put a couple of gems. It turned out so cute. For my next card, I used these nesting die and I love the shape. And you get eight pieces in here. So I took two of the middle sizes and I had to make a shaker card. And this is a Valentine's card. So for my top layer, I just put uh, the smaller one in here and I die cut it into the paper. And then I took two of them together and I die cut it this frame. Inside I have a Valentine's paper and a pink and red sequin. I stamped and colored this guy and I stamped a gift for you. And this die cut is in my stash with love. I just stuck it here. And inside the piece that came out of here, I hit embossed Happy Valentine's Day in white. And I just put a strip here just to decorate the inside. For my next card, I used this cute fox die again with Valentine's right around the corner. I wanted to make him into a Valentine's card. And this is the card that I made. It turned out so, so cute. Here I have two layers, separated the two layers with very thin strip of silver cardstock. I hit embossed, or I really like you. I brought one of those nesting dies and, and I die cut it in white popped it on here with foam tape, and then I popped the little fox again with foam tape for dimension. I die cut it from my stash, this little bow, and I put it on her, put a couple of pink gems, and then I decorated the inside with the two papers that I have in the front, stamp Happy Valentine's Day, and I just put two little hearts. For my next card, I use this cute cup die and it comes with a whipped cream and it's long so you can write your greeting. There is a little slot where you can tuck it in. It is so cute. And I wanted to make a Valentine's card. My card base is black. I took a white card stock. I die cut it a heart from my stash and I just placed it here. I wanted to go around it with Kitsch Flamingo. This is a Distress Oxide, just to give that shadow. And I popped the little cup here with foam tape. Here is that whipped cream. And I stamped You Are My Love. And you can just tuck it back in and it fits perfectly. I put the spoon here and on the little tag, I stamped XO, XO tied it here with twine and I put pink and silver gems. And the inside, I just took a strip of Valentine's paper, put it down here, stamped this little coffee, um, I don't know what do you call this, percolator? And I stamped, I love you. So simple, but it's so cute. 
For my next card, I use this mailbox die. It comes with an envelope, comes with some flowers, the word post. Again, it is so cute. And of course, I had to make a Valentine's card and I had to make a shaker. So here is the card. I brought in this uh, little mail girl <laughs> stamp from my stash and I colored her and I stamped special delivery and it's turned out so cute. And here the inside, I just put one of the envelopes and I stamped hugs enclosed. For my next card, I use this nesting die set. You get five pieces. You can also turn this into a tag. I took the two larger ones and I made it into a frame. So I die cut it to them together. And then I brought some leaves from my stash. I cut them with gold, green, and some vellum. I brought these flowers and I did them with gold and uh, pink. And I put a bow here, tucked the leaves on the bottom. And this die cut is from my stash. I did it two layers, white and black, just offset them a little so I can get a shadow. And I put a couple of gold gems. And that's what I did. And the inside, I still didn't put any uh, sentiment, but it turned out so elegant. For my next card, I use this cute typewriter die. It comes with the layering pieces. And I had to do another Valentine's card. This turned out so adorable. My card base is black. I brought in a couple of different washies. Some of them are um, Valentine's Day, so I did alternate them. And I just put them randomly, one, one up, one down. And then I brought black and red paint from my stash and I just splattered it here and there. I die cut these flowers and I put the typewriter on a foam tape, tuck the flowers behind it stamped sending love on this little note card also comes with the word i love you so you can use that but i wanted to stamp sending love and i just put a couple of silver hearts and the inside i just stamped you always have my heart and i just punched out a couple of different sizes of hearts put them here and there it turned out so adorable And my last card for today, I have this background die. And to me, these look like paint splashes. So I went with that and it's a good size. And this is the card that I made. It turned out so adorable. For the backing for these splashes, because it just die cuts those out, I did some jelly printing with uh, pinks, purples, and, I, and then I splattered it with some silver. I made my own um, card base with pink cardstock. And I stamped and colored these little guys, popped them on here with foam tape. I made with very light gray marker some ground here so they're not floating. Stamp, thank you for sharing your love of art with me. And I just put purple and pink enamel dots and this is the inside. It turned out so adorable. I love these little guys. So that was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, have an awesome day, you guys. Bye!